Okay, number 14, uh, what we wanted to do uh, is solve these equations. So this is a quadratic equation, so I just used the quadratic formula. There's no common factors to divide out, so I'm pretty much stuck with these numbers. So there's my b, there's my a, and there's my c, so minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I just substitute in the quadratic formula. 12 squared is 144 minus 48. That's 96. There's 12. There's 8. I can simplify the square root. Well, 96 is the same thing as 16 times 6. The square root of 16 is 4. Now I've got to factor in all these terms. There's two terms in the top, one in the bottom. I have to be factors of all these three terms to simplify. I can divide everything by 4. There's your answer. So that was pretty straightforward, just using the quadratic formula. Okay. A letter B. Uh, we had this equation, 2x plus 1 equals 5 over x plus 2. Remember, we got a restriction. x cannot be negative 2, otherwise I'd have 0 in the denominator. So if I solve this and I end up with a negative 2, that won't be an acceptable answer. So keeping that in mind, now I can multiply both sides by x plus 2. And then I can multiply this out, this binomial times binomial. So I can group the uh, numerical terms. So I got plus 2. If I subtract 5 from both sides, I've got negative 3. And then this is a nice, easy to factor trinomial. 2x, x. All right. And uh, the only way I can get 3 is 1 and 3. So you could kind of uh, noodle this out by trial and error. It wouldn't take a lot of work to do this. And you end up with uh, 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. You can always check it. That's going to be 6 minus 1 is 5, and then negative 3. And then we set each of these factors equal to 0. So we end up with x equals 1 half or x equals negative 3. So that probably wasn't too difficult either. Okay, and let's take a look at uh, letter C. And now again, we've got uh, fractions involved. So make sure you put restrictions on your variables. So we know that because we've got x in the bottom and x plus 1 in the bottom, x can't be negative 1 and x can't be 0. Keeping that in mind, I can multiply both sides by x times x plus 1. The x is a cancel, so I've got x plus 1 times x plus 1. Here the x plus 1's cancel, I've got x times x. And then here just 0. And then again I multiply this out and I get x squared plus 2x plus 1. Nice binomial squared minus x squared. Hey, the x squares go away, so I have a nice linear equation. Add 1, divide by 2, there's your solution. So that's all we had on letter C. So I think that's pretty much straightforward. And then number 15, they just wanted us to um, find the remainders. Okay, by dividing, find the remainders. Well, in this case, we can use the remainder theorem. We can use a synthetic division for the first one. If you look at your problem, you were dividing uh, the x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth plus x to the third minus 7x plus 1 by x plus 2. So I just put my coefficients there and I use synthetic division. And if we divide that by, it since we were dividing it by x plus 2, so we'll try minus 2. And we'll use our remainder theorem. That's the easiest way to do 15a. You can do it using long division also. Be a little bit easier to explain, but this is straightforward. All right, so I bring down my 1. What's negative 2 times 1? Negative 2. Add these, I get negative 6. Negative 2 times negative 6 is 12. Add these, I get 13. That's negative 26. Add those, I get negative 26. That's a positive 52. Add these, I get 45. That's a negative 90 when I multiply. And add these, I get negative 89. And that's going to be your remainder. If it went there evenly, you'd have no remainder. It would be a factor. Okay? So that's what we call synthetic division. And then B, we didn't have any choice. We had, long, we had to do long division because that's what we were left with. Because we can only do synthetic divisions with binomials. So this is uh, in, in the first power of x. But this was x to the third plus 1. So we have to do long division. So this was what we're dividing it into, this polynomial. And again, I try to match these up. 
How many times does x to the third go into x to the fifth? Or what do I have to mu multiply this by in order to get exactly that? Just x squared. Then I multiply both these by x squared. So that's x to the fifth. And this is x squared. Then I change the signs and add those cancel. And I add everything up. Bring down your negative x to the fourth, that. And remember, we change the sign here because that's how we, we subtract. Remember, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Daddy, mama, sister, brother. Okay. And so this is 2x squared minus 1x squared is just x squared. Okay. And then again, what do I have to multiply this by in order to get that? Negative x to get exactly negative x to the fourth. So I multiply this by negative x. And I get next to negative x to the fourth. And then just negative x. Line those up. Line up the like terms. Remember I brought down the x. Okay. Then these cancel. Then I got x to the third, x squared, and oh, the x is cancel. Because I changed the sign to positive and I added. Then I bring down the 4. And the same thing. I multiply this by, have to multiply this by just 1 to match this up. So I multiply this by 1. Change the signs. Those cancel. I've got x squared. And then 4 minus 1 is 3. So there's your remainder. So that's basically all you had to do. So just good old long division. Just remember, watch your places, watch your uh, exponents, and that'll give you your places.